Today we dive deep into the top trending open source dev tool projects that are revolutionizing how we build software. We're covering everything from unified framework agnostic debugging with TanStack dev tools to high performance media handling in the browser via Media Bunny. You'll see how Mago reinvents the PHP toolchain using Rust, how FMT ensures safe C++ formatting, and how Synth AI manages multi-stage agent development. Get ready to streamline your workflow and catch bugs faster. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, TanStack DevTools. Unified framework agnostic tools to streamline debugging and insights. What makes TanStack DevTools stand out is its ability to bring together many debugging and observability tools into one centralized panel. No more jumping between separate windows or extensions. It bundles DevTools for TanStack's libraries, like Query, Table, Router, Form, etc., and lets you include your own custom tools so everything you need is in one place. Another thing that's genuinely special is how framework agnostic it is. Though built using SolidJS for its lightness and performance, it works across any JavaScript framework. Whether your stack is React, Vue, Angular, Svelte, or something else, you can use TanStack DevTools without being locked in. It's also built for extensibility. If the default panels don't cover what you need, you can make custom DevTools plugins or integrate your own tools into the central panel. That means you can tailor the DevTools setup to your workflow, even merge in tools that might be outside the TanStack ecosystem. Performance and simplicity are core goals here, TanStack DevTools is lightweight. It aims to have minimal impact on your app while giving you useful, real-time feedback. It keeps overhead low so debugging doesn't slow down your app or burn through resources. Also, it provides a unified experience. Things like state inspection, query slash mutation tracking, table state, routing state, these are all visible within the same environment. That helps speed up diagnosing problems, understanding data flow, and visualizing what's going on in complex apps. In short, what makes TanStack DevTools truly unique is giving developers a unified dashboard that works with any framework, supports custom tooling, is lightweight and performant, and simplifies what used to be a messy, fractured debugging experience. It makes seeing what your application is doing much easier, clearer, and faster. Project number two, Media Bunny, a web-native, zero-dependency media toolkit for browsers and Node.js. Media Bunny is reshaping how media is handled on the web by bringing extremely high-performance media operations directly into the browser and Node.js without any bulky dependencies. Written in pure TypeScript, it supports reading, writing, converting, resizing, rotating, cropping, trimming, and more for audio, video, and subtitles, all from within your web app. One of the most striking things about it is its wide format support. Media Bunny works with MP4, MOV, WebM, MKV, WAV, MP3, OG, FLAC, ADTS, and more. It supports 25 plus codecs and even subtitle streams. This means no matter which kind of media files your project needs to process, there's a good chance Media Bunny already supports it. And it doesn't just convert files, it can read metadata, duration, dimensions, codec info, extract audio video data, and handle things like streamable files. Another powerful feature is how lightweight and modular it is. Because it's tree shakeable, you only bundle exactly what you need. If your app only converts MP4, it doesn't carry the overhead of everything else. That keeps your bundle small, fast, and efficient. And it has zero dependencies, so there's nothing extra you have to pull in. Performance and precision are central to Media Bunny. It works with microsecond-level accuracy when reading or writing, and can stream very large files without using huge amounts of memory. Hardware acceleration via web cotex makes sure operations happen fast. Also features like resizing, rotation, resampling, and compression are handled with refined control. Because it works both in browser and in node environments, it opens up possibilities like client-side video generation, building web editors, live streaming, or even replacing parts of back-end pipelines without moving everything to server. Media Bunny is not just about supporting media formats, it's about letting developers do high-quality performant finely controlled media work directly in their apps and browsers. Project number three, Mago, the oxidized PHP toolchain for performance, accuracy, and cleaner code. Mago is a fresh take on PHP developer tools that's unique because it reinvents what linters, formatters, and static analyzers can be, packing them all into one fast, consistent, opinionated system built for modern coding standards. What makes Mago special starts with how it's built. The entire toolchain is written in Rust, which gives it blazing speed and powerful parallelism. 
It processes code fast and large projects finish checks much quicker than with older tools. Uniqueness also comes from Mago being an all-in-one solution. Instead of juggling separate tools for linting, formatting, auto-fixing, and analysis, Mago brings them together seamlessly. There's no mismatch between style fixes and strict code checks. Everything aims for correctness and coherence. If you're tired of style debates or inconsistent code formatting, Mago just enforces modern PHP standards and makes the feedback consistent. Another standout point is how forward-looking Mago is in terms of feature agility. Because the toolchain is tightly integrated, when new PHP features or syntax proposals emerge, Mago can adopt them across all parts, formatter, analyzer, linter, very quickly. For example, new syntax like the PHP 8.5 pipe operator or upcoming features are implemented end-to-end -end in Mago once approved. That speed of adaptation means you can adopt new language improvements without waiting for many tools to catch up. Also, Mago aims to reduce style noise and prevent bugs early. Because it's opinionated, it avoids ambiguous or conflicting formatting rules, so teams spend less time arguing about tabs versus spaces or bracket styles. Instead, Mago gives you consistent formatting and strong static checks that catch potential issues before they reach production. All told, what makes Mago unique is that it's not just a tool in the chain, it is the chain. It delivers speed, coherence, modern PHP standards, smart defaults, and future readiness, all in one. If you care about code quality and working fast, Mago offers something rare, a unified polished experience without sacrificing performance or correctness. Project number four, React Input Mask, helping users fill inputs perfectly every time. React Input Mask shines because it makes input fields behave exactly as users expect, reducing mistakes and frustration. What makes this tool special is the attention to user experience. It ensures that when someone enters a date, phone number, credit card, or any formatted text, the shape of the input leads them gently and clearly, rather than letting them mess it up. One of the biggest strengths is its flexible mask formats. You can define a mask using simple strings like 99999 to guide someone entering a date, or you can build much more complex formats using arrays of patterns and constant characters. This lets the field accept digits only, letters and digits combined, or even custom constraints for parts of input. Another standout feature is how it manages placeholders and unfilled sections. If parts of the mask are empty, you can choose how they appear, maybe with underscores, maybe with nothing at all, so the input stays clean and readable even before the user starts typing. It also lets you always show the mask template, prefix placeholder, even when input field is empty or not focused, or hide it until needed. What really sets it apart is its hook for adjusting behavior just before each mask change. It gives the ability to intervene, change what's about to happen, reposition the cursor, tweak the value, that means edge cases like paste behavior, deletion, or unexpected selections are handled smoothly, giving a polished feel. React to Input Mask also is mature, well-trusted, and widely used. It has thousands of stars on GitHub, many forks, and serves many real-world use cases. Its reliability shows in how often its stable version gets used, and how carefully updates are made with UX in mind. In summary, React to Input Mask is unique because it doesn't just enforce formatting, it guides users with masks that are flexible, readable, customizable, and gentle. It helps ensure what people type matches what is required, reduces error, improves clarity, and makes forms feel professional and reliable. Project number 5. Dotter, Smart Dot File Manager and Templator for Multiple Machines. Dotter brings a new level of flexibility and cleanliness to managing your dot files across all your machines. When you've got configuration files like Bash RC, Vim RC, or custom UI settings living in one folder, usually a Git repo, ordinary symlinks barely scratch the surface. Dotter solves what happens when some files need to behave differently, depending on machine, laptop versus desktop, Windows versus Mac, battery meter and UI versus no battery meter, etc. What makes Dotter unique is how it treats configurations and templating as first-class parts of the setup. Rather than manually recreating links everywhere, Dotter handles sim linking automatically, and also lets you template content so part of a file can adapt per machine without maintaining separate branches or weird forks. Its configuration is extremely flexible, global settings, local overrides, machine-specific adjustments, all converge into something coherent. Another standout feature is its cross-platform strength. It works smoothly on Linux, Mac OS, Windows, if you move between environments, Dotter ensures your files deploy to the right places without you manually tracking platform differences. Also, setup and updates are much easier. Once your folder of dot files is configured, you can run Dotter and it will push only what's needed, keeping everything in sync. Even per file differences like this setting shows only on laptops but not desktops are handled without needing separate repos or manual juggling. 
Finally, Dotter is built in Rust, helping with speed, safety, and reliability. Packages are available via Homebrew, a UR, for Arch, Scoop on Windows, making installation easy across platforms. Altogether, Dotter isn't just another dot file manager, it's a smarter, adaptive solution for anyone who works across multiple machines, wants clean and maintainable configs, and hates duplicating effort. Project number 6, Synth AI. Open Source Tools for Multi-Stage AI Software Development SynthAI shines because it tackles the full journey of building intelligent agents, not just small parts. What makes this so special is its multi-stage focus. You can train, test, refine, and scale agents in layers using open tools that let you own every step. Unlike many systems that trap you in a single model or platform, SynthAI gives you freedom to experiment with different models, from community ones to more powerful open source ones like Quen3, with promises of wider model support soon. Another unique strength is how it scales. If you want to go beyond a toy setup and use serious hardware, think multi-node clusters, multiple GPUs like A10Gs or I100s, SynthAI is built to handle that. You set up lightweight wrappers around its API so it plugs into your existing toolchain, and then you grow from a single host to many machines. It doesn't force you to rewrite everything just because you need more power. That means smoother transition when your project goes from concept to production scale. SynthAI also gives you control over your models. You don't have to rely on closed source APIs or hidden engines. You can train and use your own models, keep them private, tweak them as you like. That transparency matters if you care about data privacy, reproducibility, or pushing the edges of research. Finally, there's a neat balance between speed and flexibility. You get fast iteration via tools built in to test and refine agents, but everything stays modular, so you can swap parts out, change components, try new approaches without starting over. That means whether you're tweaking behavior or adding new capabilities, you can move quickly without sacrificing structure. SynthAI is unique because it combines scale, ownership, openness, and modular design in one toolkit. Project number 7, FMT the modern, safe, high-performance formeller for Surua Plus. FMT stands out because it delivers a blend of speed, safety, and usability that many older formatting tools simply don't manage together. It provides a formatting style inspired by Python, letting developers write clean, readable format strings rather than wrestling with legacy printf-style syntax or verbose streaming operators. One of the most powerful aspects of FMT is type safety. Mistakes in format strings, like accidentally asking for a number but getting a string, are caught early so many errors are found before the code even runs. Then there's performance. FMT is built to outperform traditional approaches. It beats common printf, IO streams, and many other libraries when it comes to converting large numbers of values to strings or printing high-volume data. And it has a fast floating-point formatter with correct rounding, shortest representation plus round-trip guarantees, so what you see is both accurate and efficient. Another thing that makes FMT unique is its minimal clean footprint. Despite its power, it is small in source code size, easy to integrate, and doesn't drag along unnecessary dependencies. You can work with just the core headers when you don't need fancy extras. FMT also supports user-defined types very naturally. If you have your own data type, you can teach FMT how to format it. This flexibility means you can reuse FMT across many contexts. Logs, error messages, UI text, data serialization style outputs. Finally, FMT is reliable. It's well-tested, continuously fuzzed, supports Unicode, handles both modern and legacy C++ environments, and because of its careful design, it's portable and works reliably across platforms with consistent behavior. What makes FMT special is it doesn't force you to compromise. You get modern syntax, strong safety, high speed, small size, and real flexibility. It modernizes how formatting is done in C++ without losing performance or reliability. That wraps up our look at these powerful open source projects. Whether you needed Dotter to manage adaptive configurations across multiple machines, React Input Mask for flexible, readable form fields, or the performance boost from Rust-based tools like Mago and Dotter, these resources offer unique solutions. Remember, projects like TanStack DevTools simplify fractured debugging experiences with a unified dashboard, and MediaBunny enables possibilities like client-side video generation. If you found a new tool for your stack, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and start integrating these performance boosters into your next project today.